Fencing is a sport that not only gives you a full body workout, but it also promotes discipline, respect, sportsmanship skills that will help children succeed outside of the sport as well. Roxy stopped by South Bay Fencing Academy in Torrance to check it out. So fencing at the high school level provides a real advantage when it comes to getting into a good school, scoring some of those scholarships. Most top colleges recruit fencers for their NCAA teams. As you're about to see, it's both very much a mental and physical sport. This is much more than a fencing club. Students here learn the value of hard work sportsmanship, respect, and discipline. You're competing for several hours a day, so the days are very, very long. You have very short bursts of time where you're working at the 100% of your capacity, both mentally and physically, and then you have a lot of breaks and pause and, and interruptions, so you have to be ready to switch on and off constantly. Head coach Matteo Gallo started his fencing career at 14 in Italy, winning several Italian national medals before retiring in 2014. In 2019, he founded South Bay Fencing Academy. There are currently 85 students enrolled. The youngest is just six years old. Fencing has been part of the Olympics since day one, but women's saber was the last event added in early 2000s. Most of our fencers are actually women, and for some reason, historically, our most successful fencers have been women in the last three, four years. Fencing isn't just a physical sport. So much of it is psychological. It really teaches you to be accountable for yourself. It's an individual sport, of course. It's very, very hard to hide your responsibility. It's almost impossible not to grow as a person when you are a fencer. One of Coach Gallo's proudest moments happened a few months ago. In April this year, we won the senior national championships. We are the current Division One champions in women's saber. Kira, Jana, and Leah were part of that team. Kira Erickson is 17, and she's been fencing since she was 10. My dad just asked me if I wanted to try fencing, and I said okay, and I loved it, so I just stayed. She says one of the biggest challenges is staying focused. It can get really intense at times, and once you show a little bit of doubt, then your opponent just it can be on top of you. John of Friedman agrees. I really enjoy the mental aspect of fencing, how you can almost strategize, study your opponents, their moves and all that is one of my favorite aspects of the sport. But I'd say that's all translated into my daily life. Leah Yang is in her sophomore year at Palos Verdes High School. She says she tried many sports before she finally found a sport she wanted to stick with. It built my confidence like extremely because at competitions like you face a lot of pressure so in outside situations like I would see like oh I'm used to this feeling I can handle it Bravo, very nice. so not only do you have to be quick on your feet you also have to be quick with your mind and watching these kids I immediately could see that you know there is a certain level of maturity there and it's no wonder fencers learn to solve problems cope with adversity and take whatever comes their way with such grace and I love the fact they had the Olympic posters behind them Paris 2024 LA 2028 to yes and I bet you those athletes will be in the Olympics one Wouldn't day be surprised mm -hmm. they're so amazing